proud man. He's a proud man, neither what? Neither keep it at home. Neither keep it at home, man. And everybody else's goddamn business talking about, yeah, they spreading chemicals over there. They're putting chemicals on their own people. That's against humanity. Nigga, you doing that shit over here, man. Every day I walk out the fucking house, I'm breathing in death, man. I'm breathing in poison. I'm breathing in chemicals. What the fuck is you going to do about that, man? What about when I go to the store and eat an apple and that's just a fucking Frankenstein apple, man? Some shit from the science from the science lab, man. What the hell is you gonna do about that? What you gonna do about the atrazine in the water and the fluoride in the water and the water being in plastic bottles? That's all chemical warfare placed upon U.S. citizens. But you going across the world and uh, uh, shooting missiles and airstrikes on motherfuckers because a false flag chemical attack on its own people, man. You need to shoot airstrikes on your own damn self, man. You John, hey, the brother's correct, man. Cause in the spirit, you know, I mean, in, in the scriptures, it speaks about uh, uh, the tabernacles of uh, Slaki. I'm not I'm just try to grab it, you know, because the brother was speaking on, uh, you know, the Trump. What Trump was saying about how, you know, uh, we had to shoot, you know, we have to shoot strikes on uh, Syria because of their heinous uh, attacks. You know, their heinous uh, chemical weapons attacks. When it is the known fact. All right, and his constant um videos that comes out with Trump, all right, or where um these elites, all right, they they push uh chemtrails, they push like the brother was saying um fluoride in the water, all right, they push poison upon us, man, all right, hey, but like the scriptures say, um you know first I'm gonna just grab this, this is Exodus chapter 15, verse 34, for the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate. So the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, is going to make this place desolate, man. The congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate. All right, and, and President Trump, all right, and Nikki Haley, and all those that want to speak speak out uh, against Syria as if they're a so-called threat to their people. I mean, as if they're a so-called threat, which Esau pushes problem, reaction, solution, man. All right, so he pushes, you know, uh, the fact of uh, uh, Syria is a so-called problem. They, they shoot chemical uh, uh, weapons on their own people. All right. Well, like the brother was saying, uh, over here in America, man, they do the same thing. All right. Hey, like the, the scriptures say, man, you got to cast the mold out of your own eye before you can cast the beam out of somebody else's eye. All right. And that's what Esau's been doing for uh, centuries, man. Like I said, you look at, uh, you know, a lot of the water before it might have been uh, a glass. Um, like a uh, prime example, um, Voss, before it was all glass. Now they're putting it in plastic, man. You know, and, and plastic has a. Uh, you know, all types of uh, uh, chemicals, all right, that's dangerous and toxic for you, man. So it says, for the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. And fire will consume this place, man. ICBM nu uh, nuclear fire, man. All right, and that's what this world is coming to, World War Three. Okay? This world is coming to what? World War Three, man. All right, and, and World War Three um, is with uh, nuclear wars, man. All right, and that's why you see brothers on the common book. I mean, you see brothers uh, excited for this, man, because our kingdom is right around the corner. Okay, um, real quick, I had one to get. What's that? Isaiah six. Isaiah chapter six. Uh, let me see. Nah, this uh. Use noise. Lock it. It's lock it. Isaiah chapter nine. I'm just grab this right here. Isaiah nine and five. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments wrote with blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, is bringing his third world's war, and his third world's war is going to be with what? Burning and fuel of fire, okay? Um, This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 16. And let me see. Is sixteen. It's lucky. It says, "Uh, I 
Second Ezra 16. In verse 12, the earth quaketh and, and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is, is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And those arrows are talking about those ICBM nuclear missiles, man. All right, because prior to, uh, you know, World War One, World War Two, and all the world's uh, wars, um, you know, in between and before that. All right. That's why it says for every battle with the warriors with confused noise, because all the wars um, before that, you know, fought with um, um, swords. Um, that's that confused uh, noise, man. Swords uh, clashing against uh, swords, swords clashing against body parts. All right. But it says, um, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. All right. And when these ICBM nuclear missiles touch down, all right, it's going to burn everyone. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Burn everyone up. That's, that's uh, you know, still here, man. You know, that's that fire consuming the tab tabernacles of bribery. Okay. This is, uh, you know, just going in the spirit. Uh, Revelations. Chapter 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and of whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right. And how is this going to happen? Through those ICBM nuclear missiles, man. Okay. Through those ICBM nuclear missiles, man. All right, last precept I want to get. I had another one in mind, but I have forgot it. Um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 40. And the 40 or 40? Oh, it's locky. <laughs> All bribery and injustice shall be blotted out, but true dealing shall en endure forever. And um, you know what? Actually, with that, I wanted to grab. I wanted to grab one more just to stem off of that, just to show you that this place is about is falling, man, because of the wickedness of Esau, man. Uh, Second Ezra seven and forty three. It says, uh, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come where corruption is past and temperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. So, you know, this is the time we come in, the, the time we coming into. All right. Is where all wickedness is going to be uh, cast down, man. All right. And because of, uh, uh. You know, like the scriptures say, riches got by deceit. Uh, the kingdom is translated from one person to another, man. All right. So because of your wickedness, which Esau is a wicked. All right. So, uh, the Bible calls him that old serpent, the devil, Satan, the wicked, the son of perdition. All right. He uh, uh, inhabits, man. He runs the what? The tabernacle. Of, I meant the, um, you know, the, the scriptures, as I read, the tabernacle of bribery and the, um, the uh, I'll just say the, um, the uh, congregation of the hypocrites, man. All right, so this place is about to be pulled down. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, you, Akin was edified. Shalom to the elect.